actually another lady up here. Love this girl. She's fantastic. I've been performing with her for the past two years since I've been here. She's one of my favorites. Uh, she is in a band called the Manson Family Singers who have a show at Mug Lounge on February 21st. She's a fantastic comedian. Please welcome to the stage Hillary Schwartz, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all. How you all doing? Good, good. Yeah, a lot of friendly faces. So you all, a lot of New Yorkers here, imagine. A lot of New Yorkers here. Yes, and don't you love it? I love living in New York. I just love it, because you have everyone. You know, Irish, Italian, Arab, Asian, and that's just one guy. <laughs> You got a lot of people with mixed backgrounds here, which is great because it confuses racists, right? <laughs> racists are like, I hate you, you. What in the hell are you? <laughs> Damn those Swedish Mexicans. <laughs> Freaking Irish Eskimos. <laughs> Every drink's on the rocks. Uh, I'm going to go out a limb and say that I hate uh, racism. I know that's really <laughs> controversial. It's a very controversial statement. It still bothers me that, that uh, when Kramer got up, remember that, and uh, started spewing the N-word over and over again. That Wasn't that horrific? That was so awful. And now the syndicated Seinfeld has lost its enormous African-American audience. <laughs> That show is almost too white for me. It makes Frasier look like in living color. <laughs> you know, I never liked the show Seinfeld, and finally I realized why. Whiny Jews, I already live in my head. <laughs> I can TiVo myself. <laughs> I, really, I hate myself. <laughs> Do you know what I, self-loathing and self-absorbed, so I hate myself and that's all I think about. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. I just spent the weekend with my mother, so I get what I always get when I'm with my mother, insults and free stuff. <laughs> You're ruining your life and here's a blouse. <laughs> family, the compliments that are insults, those are always good, right? Like, oh, like, oh, hon, you look pretty today. <laughs> oh, you changed your hair. That's a wonderful start. <laughs> I am so sick of it. Strangers come up to me and give me their opinions all the time. This woman came up to me, she's like, your hair, try more layers. Someone would be like, your body, try less food. <laughs> I was wearing this hat, and she was like, yeah, no. I was like, this is so I felt bad, though, because actually I work with a lot of uh, very funny male comics, a lot of work, work with a lot of men who are great, but some of them are obsessed with the fat chicks. Obsessed, they're like enemy number one, the fat chicks. And this is my favorite, when they say, you know what sucks is getting drunk and waking up with a fat chick. And I always think, you know what must suck being a fat chick and waking up with a dumb drunk? <laughs> She's like, I woke up with this asshole. It is so depressing, no wonder I overeat. <laughs> I stuffed myself with donuts to get him to leave. <laughs> Anyhow, back to my mother. Um, <laughs> she screams out the phrase that I think every mother screams out, which is this. Um, I'm not crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> Like every mother throughout the world must say that in every language. <laughs> Yo es tu no loco, tu es loco. <laughs> she's really upset she doesn't have grandchildren because she's like, we have such good genes to pass on. And I'm like, yeah, we have good hair, but what about the clinical depression? <laughs> I'm just 
understand. I'd have to put Prozac in my breast milk. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, you know, and my big plan for having kids is this. When I totally ruin my life, I'm going to create another one <laughs> as a do-over. I'll name her Hope. <laughs> my last hope. <laughs> Schwartz. <laughs> to all their crap, and I'm not done with my crap. <laughs> Are you coming to my play? Are you coming to my play? <laughs> I am busy. You have seen Mommy's MySpace calendar. <laughs> if you had a recital, send me a Facebook invite. I didn't get one. I didn't get one. Yeah. God, speaking of which, you have a lot of friends who write blogs. I have all these friends who are writing blogs, and they're like, oh, read my blog, read my blog, but I'm talking to you right now. No, let's sit in silence and then read my blog. <laughs> blogs. Oh, God, I love those things. You know what, everyone's writing them, no one is reading them. <laughs> right? They're the equivalent of millions of people walking down the street talking themselves. <laughs> we need to be honest and write to the only two people reading our blogs. Just be like, hi, mom, a guy who wants to bang me. <laughs> and your mom stopped reading two installments ago. I'm just so sick of my friends. I can't have to talk about I'm so sick. Well, I have white friends here in New York who complain about the gentrification of their neighborhoods. That's my, that's my They're always like, oh my God, all these white people are moving in. Yes, shouldn't you have realized that when you moved here, Sally? <laughs> She's like, no, but I was here first when it was all ethnic. That means you started the problem. <laughs> That's all they ever talk about is how much their neighborhood is changing. Like, everything's changing, it's changing. Yes, that's what things do, they change. <laughs> This neighborhood used to be all Irish immigrants escaping for the potato famine. <laughs> this block was all rocks and pebbles, and now they're boutiques. <laughs> this was a single landmass, one continent, not separated by any ocean. <laughs> and now they're wine bars. <laughs> This planet used to be a cloud of dust particles left over from the formation of the sun. And now there's a pottery barn. <laughs> we, love to, we love to talk about politics and complain about the government uh, because our government sucks. But as bad as our leaders are, you know who'd be worse? My friends. <laughs> They're always like, oh, we can't run this war. They can't run this war. Oh, and you can, Pete. <laughs> and will you be leading the military before or after karaoke? <laughs> They're ruining the economy. I know, Tammy, but let's finish watching Eliminate. <laughs> and finally, I have to say, I mean, I love those shows, the reality shows, Elimination. And you know what? America loves Elimination. We should use it for everything. Like tonight, one Middle Eastern country will be eliminated. <laughs> Text one for Yemen. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm really short. Yes, Hillary Schwartz. Wow. That's awesome. Love her.